A question I get a lot is, why dots? At first the question was tough for me to answer, but after a little introspection, I came to a simple conclusion. A dot is such a basic representation that it can be anything. Dots can be part of larger organizations, or they can go off on their own. Like you and me, they have to climb social, political, and workforce ladders. And, like in the real world, when a dot at the top is angry, the news rolls downhill. There are even some dots that you really wouldn't want to see when they get angry. While I think the simple explanation that a dot can be anything is good, I think there's a deeper and better reason. It was put most elegantly in one of my favorite books, Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud. In that book, Scott states that by de-emphasizing the appearance of the physical world in favor of the idea form, the cartoon, or in this instance the dot, places itself in the world of concepts. A good visual explanation of this statement is found by looking at this set of images. In this context, all of the images are representations of me. As you progress from left to right, the representations get less and less detailed until eventually I'm represented by a dot. My picture is the most physical representation of me and the dot is the most conceptual. While both represent me, they are not equal substitutes for building models. And it is this difference that explains why dots are the best tools for modeling. Imagine if I tried to model a hierarchical organization using my picture to represent each position. First, this would be one scary organization, and second, it's difficult for someone besides me to identify with. Moving towards a more conceptual representation makes it easier for some people to identify and possibly see themselves somewhere in this organization. This representation also makes it more difficult to judge race, gender, ethnicity, and form prejudices about the individuals. Yet if we move to a, a representation of dots, it becomes almost impossible to form any prejudices against the dots. The only judgments that you can make about the dots are that they are round and gray, and that there are some dots lower in the organization than others. This is what explains why dots are the perfect way to model complex problems, ideas, and solutions. Because if you can't judge the dot as something that is different from you, it makes it that much easier for you to see yourself, your boss, your employee, your car, your auto company, your president, your family, your organization, your country, anything in the same situation as the dot or dots. That means that the model will be easier for you to understand and apply to your life. This is why I use Monday Dots and why I believe you should too. Thank you for watching and I look forward to your feedback.